Sairam children, welcome to online session. Let's continue geometry chapter 1 basic concepts in geometry. Let's revise what we have learned in previous session. We have studied about coordinates and to find the distance between the given two points. If the coordinate of A is X and that of B is Y. Find distance between the points A and B. So here coordinates are directly given. Coordinate of A is X that is 4. And coordinate of B is Y that is negative 8. So you know how to find the distance. First we have to find which is the greater coordinate. Which is the greater coordinate? 4. And then we have to find the distance that is subtract the smaller coordinate from greater one. So it will become 4 minus negative 8. So when you open the bracket it becomes 4 plus 8. But the answer that is 12 units. So we have revised how to find the distance. We can also find the coordinates if number line is given and if coordinate is given. Let's continue with our practice set 1.1 from third question. From the information given below, find which of the point is between the other two. If the points are not collinear, state so. So we have also studied about betweenness. And in betweenness, we have studied about if the given points are collinear. What are collinear points? If a line passes through, Three or more given points, if the points are collinear, means the line should pass through the points. And we have also learned given the three points, for example, A, B, C, then there are three possibilities. Any point can be between the other two. So here also we have to find if the points are collinear or no. Now, first question is distance between the points P and R is 7. Distance between points P and Q is 10 and distance between Q and R is 3. Now, we have to find which point is between the other. So, first is what we will do. We will arrange the numbers in ascending order. That is first write the smallest number. So, which is the smallest number? 3. And the next number is 7. 3 is smaller than 7. And 7 is smaller than 10. So, first you write in that way, smallest number. Now, 3 is the distance of points between QR. So, you substitute distance between the point QR. Less than distance between the point PR. Less than distance between the points PQ. Then we have to check. So, add the smallest numbers. That is 3 plus 7 is equal to 10. That is distance between the points QR plus distance between the points PR is equal to distance between the PQ. Add the two smaller numbers and we get the answer that is 10. So here points are collinear. Points P, Q, R are collinear points. And which point is between? You can come, will come to know from here distance between QR and distance between PR. So R is the point. Point R is between P and Q. And how we show it using between us? P dash R dash Q. So this is the way. First arrange the number. Ascending order. Find the distance that is relation. And check. Next question is. Distance between the points RS is 8. Distance between the point ST is 6. Distance between RT is 4. So smallest number is 4. 4 is smaller than 6. 6 is smaller than 8. Right in this way. Now 4 is the distance of point RT. So distance between the points RT. That is less than distance between the point ST. And that is less than distance between the point RS. Now you check by taking the sum of the smaller numbers. 4 plus 6. Now is 4 plus 6... Equal to 8? No. 4 plus 6 is 10. 10 is not equal to 8. 
it means the distance between the points RT plus distance between the point ST is not equal to distance between the point RS. So, when it is not equal to points R, S, T are not collinear points. And if the points are not collinear, betweenness does not exist. So, what we have to do? We have to arrange the numbers in ascending order. Check at the smaller one. And is it equal to the greatest number? Betweenness exists. Otherwise, no. Next sum. Distance between the point A, B is 16. Distance between the point C, A is 9. Distance between the point B and C is 7. So, first what we are going to do? Yes, arrange in ascending order. 7 less than 9 less than 16. Now, 7 is the distance of point B and C. So, below that substitute distance B and C less than distance C and A and it is less than the distance A and B. Now, distance between the points B and C is 7. So, add 7 plus 9 smaller numbers. Is it equal to 16? Yes, 7 plus 9 is 16. So, distance between the points B and C plus distance between the points C and A is equal to distance between the points A and B. And if it is equal to, it means points are collinear. So, points A, B, C are collinear points. And which point is between? This will come to know from here. Distance BC plus distance CA. So, point C. Point C is between A and B. And so, how we show the betweenness? A dash C dash B. It means point C is between A and B. Next question. Distance between the points L and M is 11. Distance between the points M and N is 12. And distance between the points NL is 8. So, first what we will do? Arrange in ascending order. Smallest number is 8. 8 is less than 11. 11 is less than 12. Now, 8 is the distance of the point NL. So, right, distance between the points NL is less than distance between the points LM is less than the distance between the I mean, their distance. Now, add the smaller numbers. 8 plus 11. Now, 8 plus 11 is 19. Is it equal to 12? No. So, we have to put sign of not equal to. And how we put it? Right equal to sign slash. So, 8 plus 11 is not equal to 12. And if it is not equal to 12, then the distance between the points and null Plus distance between the points LM is not equal to distance between MN. And when the distances are not equal, the points are not collinear. Points L, M, N are not collinear points. It means betweenness does not exist. Now these two questions you are going to solve as an assignment. Distance between the points x, y is equal to 15. Distance between the points y, z is equal to 7. Distance between the points x, z is equal to 8. Now, orally if you want to check, you can take the smaller numbers. Which are the smaller numbers? 7 plus 8. And 7 plus 8 is 15 and it is equal to the greatest number. So, 7 plus 8 is equal to 15. Yes, the points are collinear, between us exists. So, that way you can solve as the previous sums are done. Next one is, distance between the point DE is 5. Distance between the points EF is 8. And distance between DF is 6. Now, if orally if you want to observe and check, you can take the smallest number 5. And next 6, uh, 5 plus 6 is 11. Is it equal to the greatest number 8? No. Between us doesn't exist. But you have to show stepwise how it is shown in the previous sums. Next question. Now, on a number line, points A, B and C are such that distance between A and C is 10 and distance between C and B is 8. Find distance between the points A and B 
considering all possibilities how many possibilities are there three any point can be between the other two so first we will take the possibility point b lies between a and c so a dash b dash c and if b lies between then distance between the points a b plus distance between the points b c is equal to distance between the points a c then substitute the values distance between a b is given no we have to find distance between the points b c is given 8 it is given there c b we can write c b we can write b c same thing is equal to distance between a and c that is 10 substitute the values now distance between the points a b is equal to 8 we have to the other side of equality so positive number becomes negative 10 minus 8 distance between the points a and b is 2 units this is the case 1 first possibility now second possibility is a dash c dash b point c can lie between a and b so distance between the points a c plus distance between the points c and b is equal to distance between a and b now distance between a c is given 10 c b is given 8 and 8, 10 plus 8 is 18 so distance between the points a and b is 18 units that was case 2 third possibility is b dash a dash c that is a lies between b and c and if a lies between b and c then distance between a and b plus distance between points a and c is equal to distance between b and c now distance between a b is given no we have to find so distance between a and b points plus a c is given that is 10 is equal to 8 so distance between the points a and b is equal to we have to take 10 now to other side of equality it will become negative 10 8 minus 10 we are subtracting a bigger number 8 minus 10 so the answer will be negative 2 so distance between the points a and b is negative 2 but we have learnt distance cannot be negative so we have to write as distance between the two points cannot be negative so this possibility that point a is between b and c is not possible b dash a dash c is not possible so what is the answer then there are two possibilities distance between the points a and b is 2 units or distance between the points a and b is 18 units so this is the way we have to solve taking all the possibilities next points x y z are collinear such that distance between the points x y is 17 distance between the points y z is 8 find distance between x z again it is given the points are collinear but we don't know which point is lying between the other two so we have to take all the possibilities like the previous sum so first possibility let's take that point y lies between x and z that is if x dash y dash z and then distance between x y plus distance between y z is equal to distance between x z substitute the values distance between x y is given 17 y z is given 8 and 17 plus 8 is 25 so distance between the points x and z is equal to 25 units now next possibility is if z lies between the other two that is x dash z dash y so distance between xz plus distance between yz is equal to distance between xy. Substitute the values. Now distance between xz not given. So to find plus yz is given 8. So right below the values equal to distance between xy is given 17. Now what we have to do? We have to solve the equation. Take a to the other side of equality. So distance between xz is equal to 17 minus 8 and that is 9 so distance between xz is equal to 9 units so this was the second possibility now third possibility third possibility is if x lies between yz 
so if y dash x z z so distance between x y plus distance between x z is equal to distance between y z substitute the value x y is given 17 and distance between x z we have to find and y z is given 8 so distance between x and z is 8 minus 17 negative 17 17 to take other side of equality so 8 minus 17 that is negative 17 units that is negative 9 units distance between x z is negative 9 units so as distance between two points cannot be negative so this possibility y dash x dash z is not possible so distance between x z is equal to 25 units or 9 units so we have to take all possibilities and solve next question is sketch proper figure and write the answers of the following question so here figure is also to be given we have to draw the line and show if Point B lies between A and C, that is A dash B dash C, and length AC is 11. Till earlier we were doing distance, now length, we know length is distance. So length AC is equal to 11, length BC is equal to 6.5, then length AB is equal to, we have to find that. So we have to, this I have written given to find solution, so it becomes easy for you given a dash b dash c that is point b lies between a and c what else is given length ac that is 11 length bc that is 6.5 what you have to find length ab then solution so first we have to draw the number line that is draw the line show the points and which points you have to show Point B lies between A and C. So draw a line. Show A, B, C. That is given. And then length AB plus length BC is length AC. Length AB we have to find. BC substitute the value 6.5. AC 11. Now length AB is equal to 6.5. Other side of equality. So 11 minus 6.5 comes to. 4.5 so length AB is equal to 4.5 so here you have to draw the line and show that is draw figure next question if R dash S dash T it means point S lies between R and T and length ST is equal to 3.7 length RS is equal to 2.5 then length rt is equal to question mark we have to find so only one sum i have shown showing given to find so becomes clear you can start a solution draw the line draw the line and there be no point s lies between r and t so r s t name the points and point s lies between r and t r dash s dash t given so length rs plus length st is equal to length rt now what we will do we will substitute the values that is 2.5 plus 3.7 is equal to length rt and length rt is equal to add the values and you add the values it becomes 6.2 units so this is length rt is 6.2 units next question if Point Y lies between X and Z. That is X dash Y dash Z. And XZ is equal to 3 root 7. And length XY is equal to root 7. We have to find length YZ. So solution. Draw a number line. Draw the points. Point Y lies between X and Z. So X, Y, Z. That is X dash Y dash Z given. And length xy plus length yz is equal to length xz. Substitute the values. X, length xy is root 7. Plus yz we have to find is equal to 3 root 7. So length yz is equal to 3 root 7 
root 7 will go to other side of equality. We are solving the equation. So, it becomes 3 root 7 minus root 7. Now, you have to take care. We are subtracting a root. That is root 7. So, same root should be there. And as both the roots are same. That is 3 root 7 minus root 7. Like like terms. So, you have to subtract. That is 3 root 7. That is root 7 means it is 1 root 7. So, 3 minus 1. 2. 2 root 7. So, you only subtract the rational number part. And in detail, you will be learning in algebra, rational, irrational. So, here you understand this part. 3 root 7 minus root 7. So, it comes 3 minus 1. That is 2 root 7. Because root 7 is 1 root 7. So, this is the way you have to show the figure and solve. Next question is. Which figure is formed by three non-collinear points? So, take three non-collinear points. Now, when we say non-collinear points means the point should not be in a line. A line should not pass through them. So, take two point, one outside. The three randomly, three non-collinear points. Now, take two points, draw a line passing through them. And name the points A, B, C, P, Q, R, X, Y, Z. Depends. Then take two points, draw a line. Take another two points, draw a line. Take two points, draw a line. And see which figure is formed. Which figure is formed? See, your figure will be like this. Take three non-collinear points. You are drawing a line. Three lines. That is, line joining AB, line joining AC, line, line joining BC. And when we are drawing a line, arrow heads to be shown. So, which figure is formed? Yes, a triangle is formed by joining three non-collinear points. So, here we will stop. Practice the sums given. Thank you. Bye. Take care of yourself.